Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Christabel here and today we're watching Killing Eve Season 1 Episode 2. Um, it's early on, obviously. I've only seen the first episode so far. It was quite gory already and quirky. I'm loving the, the main character already. Um, the cop, that is, MI5. Um, yeah, still learning a lot about the characters and everything. Very intrigued. So I'm just going to crack straight into the next one. Oh, let's go. That blood. Wow. My girl just didn't even register what she was seeing. thing with her it really looks as if she enjoys what she does like she's soaking in that memory why are you sticking around so I'm just gonna die then. oh sure you're from Connecticut oh uh, yes well, I was born here but I, I moved there when my parents separated uh, and when my father died I came back and I basically married my dad no I mean he's not I mean he's nothing like me let it go. Did you compile this on your own? Yes. No one asked you to do it? No. Has anyone else seen it? I mean, no. Why did you do this? Can I get a gin and tonic? We don't open the bar in the mornings. Two gin and tonics, <laughs> please. Yes, madam. I believe there is a female assassin operating internationally and she's targeted a number of influential people. She doesn't have a signature, but she certainly has style and I don't know who or what is behind her, but I don't think she's slowing down and that just interested me, I guess. Okay. But also apparently makes me a fantasist and a crackpot and completely on my own. And you know, frankly, I don't give a shit anymore. She is outsmarting the smartest of us and for that she deserves to do or kill whoever the hell she wants. I mean, if she's not killing me, then frankly it's not my job to care anymore. Can I show you so is she going to take her sort of under her wing and sort of bring her in the loop, let her know that she's on the right path? Because that guy was a dickhead. Shut up. I'm thinking, why would you tell that? Both hands needs to be told. This your office. What is this? Well, what I can gather from this morning, it's your hunch all over my wall. Is this not something you're supposed to be looking into officially? I tried. This is an unofficial official tap on the shoulder. Aren't there more qualified? I want you. Why? Well, look, the search clearly speaks for itself. You'll intuitive and you'll make insane suggestions. You're already you? on it. And you can find so no one cares about what you do next. Like you gonna pay her? Inside of my brain. And you want me to find her? She's on the payroll. There's a pattern. We just haven't worked it out yet. Oh my god. No. Kenny, this is Eve. I'm hoping she'll be joining you. Oh. Okay. Sorry about the smell. Kenny lives <laughs> on the internet. You can find anything, track anything, trace anything. Matter to the I do. I don't know the word in French. Your eyes. Are you hurt? Oh, hi. I want you to get assessed again. London was... <sighs> meant to look like suicide. It didn't? So she slit her own throat? It happens. And killed four other people? Slip of the hand? Why are you being naughty? I'm excited about my next one. No more target until you're assessed. But this one has asthma. You know I like the breathy ones. Assessed for what? Can't be mental flipping 
assessment because she's not. Speak rushly. There are concerns about your state of mind. You enjoy it too much. Have you been feeling any anxieties or stress? They're actually doing an assessment of their serial of their hitmen to make sure they're still of sound mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your face. Who's <laughs> Anna? Who's Anna? That's not Anna. Where is it? It's my mother. I'm joking. My mother has really thin, shitty hair. <laughs> She's mental. Yes, I see what you mean. Thank you, Villanelle. But I won't sign you off. So you won't sign her off? It's good to have someone worried about you, huh? And who worries about you? I do. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you mm -hmm. don't. Does she care about anything? Is she like psycho, like Dexter, where she can't feel for man, woman, animal? Is she pickpocketing him? Does he know that she took that? If you ever want to talk to anyone, that is a hairy ass chest. I like a man with hair on his body, but dang. Let's go out. Okay. Well, what do you want to do? Something normal. You have to show ambition. You have to... You, you have to sell your perfume. You have to prove the bastards wrong. Oh, I'm so pleased they are here. Now, do you like music? I like national anthems. <laughs> Why is that funny? He's got a lovely face. I want to see your apartment. <laughs> I'll be finished very soon. I think I might slow down. Boss up. Slow down. That's what she wants to own you. Did you? Yes. Fixation or murder? <laughs> I heard your work. Good moves. She really is making a perfume, or is this some sort of poison or something? This is unusual. Oh, is she hiring him as part of her team? So witnesses saw a woman wearing a dress and playing with children. Is that very suspicious? Sort of ignoring the hairpin thing there. Okay, but neither wife or child actually witnessed the kids. No one witnessed any of the others either. No, except for Kasha, who was full on murder. Mm. Or it's a different person. Did forensics find anything out from the hospital card? One full profile, but no matches. So nothing to implicate the same woman. Except that Kedron was killed by a woman. And the witness to that kill was then murdered. So it doesn't take a genius to put... Other than that, can you give me a single discernible motive for one person to kill all these people? They, why don't you want to believe they're all the same woman? But Have you got something you need to get off your chest, Bill? You can't lead a team with assumptions. It's not how it's done. It's got a fair point, but very undermining. It's best that you bring in your own or it just disappears. <laughs> How many sheets do you need? I'm just gonna take the roll and bring it back afterwards, if that's okay. Okay, sure. Bring your own. That looks foul. There was a young woman, a, a nurse, who left the bathroom before I did. Maybe she could have seen... 
Wow, is she really going to link her from the toilet already? That's an early, early link. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm adapting. Jesus. But you're still not considering overall motive. There are no trails. If they are random, then fine, they're random. But if they're not, that means someone's plan is going really well. These people are powerful and particular and so far completely invisible, which means they're probably everywhere. Our only visible contact is mm. her, and that is why we have to focus on everything we know about her in order to get to them. True. Do we know? Her DNA is on file. But no them reason. could have many of hers. Well, it's very different. Does she have a job here or? Because I thought he wasn't giving a sign off. That's quick. And what only affects people in very close range oh she's got asthma so something triggered it oh dang she really enjoys watching people's light go out it's very unsettling did you actually see the cctv Nick? Did you think I was asking you out there? No. I thought you had a chance. I just thought. Oh my God, Frank. No, I wasn't <laughs> No. Do you want to know what I thought? Maybe one person might have asked me for a drink after my wife bloody died. And I thought, yeah, I thought maybe you were that person, that kind person. Oh, Jesus, Frank, I'm sorry. Fine, yes, because I made up the bloody CCTV. Uh, why? Why? Because... Because what? I was just sick of you piping up with your theories any time there was a sniff of conspiracy in the air. You tiresome think bucket. How unprofessional. Surely you can't really be fired. You know, like you've been on holiday or something. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Someone believes her about her. Must be the yoga. Her Serial killer theory. I'm working for MI6. There you go. No, I was right about the assassin. They want me to trace her. You sure you want to do this? He's worried for you. Already. Okay. She didn't have permission. I thought not. You disobeyed me. You lied to me. You said it was impossible. Hello? How was the job? Oh, uh, so good. <laughs> Did she like your perfume? She loved it. Can I smell it now? Her boss was being a total bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They always are. Yeah. Mm. Well, shall I come back later? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got you a gift. Thank you. Men are quite infatuated yeah. with her, aren't they? I'll keep it. Need to deal with him. Is that going to affect him because, or not affect him as much because he doesn't have asthma, or? Why did you lie to me? 
You just have to trust me. <laughs> you have to trust me. Tell me. A woman in London is leaving an apartment just to find you. No, it's not a good thing. Is that a serious threat from her? Or are they playing silly beggars? He looks like he was afraid. I can be certain. She's crazy. And it's like he doesn't quite trust her. <laughs> Eve Palestri. Eve Palestri. I'm always a woman. Dumb. That was. She's looking for her and she's looking for her. She's not there. No, I I think I've met her. When you think about the behaviour and her sort of airiness, like you two are just in sync in a weird way. Okay, so that was episode two. It's weird the way they are mirroring in each other and sort of becoming aware of each other at the same time. It's quite spooky and airy, but I'm enjoying this. It's, she's nuts. The killer is crazy. She's proper psychopathic, like she doesn't have emotional attachments or, yeah, I, I can't figure out if she really wants to kill her mentor or her boss guy or if they're playing this little game of cat and mouse with each other but it's very intriguing um I can't believe as well well I can but that she's um so dismissive and so easy to deal with death so she's been intimate with this guy he smelled her perfume and she's just like dealt with it's like she's so detached from emotion it's crazy you've never never seen anything like it um in a, in a TV show anyway um, but yeah it's very good I'm enjoying this so that was episode 2 hope you've enjoyed it too um, I'll be back for episode 3 hope you join me until then peace and love bye